Welcome to VKS Coding. So in this video, we will talk about uh, different types of load balancing algorithm. So here we will see three, six types of algorithms. So first one is a round robin algorithm. Second one is a sticky round robin algorithm. Third one is a weighted round robin algorithm. Fourth one is IP or URL hashing. Fifth one is a list connection. And the sixth one is a list response time. So let's check one by one uh, deeply and understand how each algorithm works in load balancer. First one is a round robin algorithm. So here I have created a load balancer and here I have created three service instance, service A, service B, service C. So load balancer will distribute the request among these services. And here I have created a two user, user one, user two. User one is sending a two request, request one, request two. User 2 is sending a request 3, request 4. It means he is also sending two requests. So all four the all four of the requests come to the load balancer and load balancer will check the algorithm and according to that it will assign the request to the uh, these services. To whom to assign? It will check according to the algorithm. It will assign the request to the services. So in round robin, the client requests are sent to the different services instance in a sequential order. And the service instance are usually required to be stateless. It means uh, whenever the request will come, so the first request will be served by like service one. Then second request will be served by the service two. And then third request will be served by this service three. So all three will be served by sequentially. And the next request will be again served by this service, service A. And suppose we have a more uh, request, then again another request uh, request will be shared by here. Request five will be shared by service B, and request six will be shared by service C. It means uh, the request will be shared by sequentially, one after the another. First, if this is serving the request, then second it will serve the request, third it will serve the request, and again it will repeat the same thing. It is sequentially and round robin. Uh, so it kind of a one after the other. So first it will serve by request A, then B, then C, then again repeat, we repeat the same thing. So this is all about the round robin. In round robin, uh, the request will be served sequentially. So I hope uh, I made clear about the round robin algorithm, how it is applied in load balancer. So let's check another algorithm. So next one, we have a sticky round robin algorithm. And this is an improvement of round robin algorithm. If the user one send a request uh, and it goes to service A, then again the followed request uh, from user one will also go to service A. So here also I have created uh, three services, service A, service B, service C. And here is a, again it's a load balancer and the two user we having sending their request. User one is sending a request to user one, request one, request two. User two is sending a request three, request four. And if user one uh, request, uh, first request is served by the service A, then the followed request from the user one will be served by the same service instance. So what I meant here is, suppose the request one is coming from user one and load balancer select the service one, service A to be served the request one. Then the uh, followed request from the user one, that is request two, it will also be served by this use service A only. And same thing applies to user two also. If suppose a user two uh, request this third one will be served by this service C, then the followed request will also for user two will be served by this service C. It will not served by user uh, B. Load balancer will remember the service instance for the user, and accordingly it will accordingly it will uh, serve the request for that particular user. Suppose user one request will be first request served by the service A, then the followed upcoming request also be served by uh, service A for user one. And here user two, uh, the service request uh, request three is served by service three. Then the upcoming request from user two, then only served by service three only. So this is the sticky round robin algorithm. In this algorithm, load balancer remember the uh, user mapping to the services. So from first user where it mapped earlier, so upcoming request, it will map to the same services. So this is about the round uh, sticky round robin algorithm. So let's check another algorithm. 
so next one is a weighted round robin algorithm here the admin will assign to the uh, services to a weight actually for for example here i have assigned the weight is 0.8 for service a in service b 0.4 in service c 0.1 and here i have a load balancer and here i have a user one here i have a user two user one is sending two requests request one request two us2 is sending request 3 request 4 and uh, this is the load balancer when all the requests come to the load balancer it will distribute among these requests between these services so when the round uh, when the weighted round robin algorithm followed then how the request will be distributed so in this scenario the one with the higher weight handle the more requests than others it means uh, here if you see the weight service a weight is 0.8 it means more request will be handled by service a compared to the remaining service b and service c it means uh, when four requests are coming then request one will be served by service a request two will be served by service a only request three will be also served by service a and the requests uh, uh, four will be served by uh, service b so it means the service which have a higher weight will serve the more request so this is uh, this is the only about the weighted round robin here we need to uh, concentrate more about the where the service having the higher weight will uh, sir, uh, means handle the more request that's it we have to understand here so now let's check the uh, next algorithm next is the ip url has so here uh, I have defined again three service instance. So service instance A will handle a hash which is having a zero value and uh, service B will handle the uh, hash value one. Service C will handle the hash value two. And again, we have a user one, user two sending a two two request to a load balancer. So when the uh, we apply the uh, IP or URL hashing any one of them in load balancer, then how the request will be distributed. So in this algorithm, hash function on the incoming request ip or url will be hashed and the according to the hash value uh, it will be routed to the services so suppose uh, when the uh, when the request come from the user one then the hash value uh, will be calculated like for ip it will come zero uh, for user one then the request will be served by uh, this service a So this request uh, will be from user one. Uh, it will served by service A because when the user request came, uh, the user IP, uh, user one IP we have hashed and we got the value zero and the hash value zero will be served by service A. Similar way, if the user to user two uh, send a request for a user three, uh, means request three and request four via load balancer, then again the hash will be calculated for this user two and again we will do ip hashing and suppose this value will come to for user 2 then the request from the uh, user 2 will be served by this service c because it will handle the hash 2 so this will be served by request 3 here it will served by the service c and request 4 will be also served by service c so here we need to remember about this ip or url hashing it means for the user who is sending the request will either use the IP or the URL and get the hash value and according to hash value uh, will route the uh, request to the uh, services which is uh, able to handle those hash value. So we have to uh, predefine the services which is going to particular hash value or hash value range and according to we have to route the value. Suppose here uh, zero hash value uh, it is handling service A, one hash value service handling these and hash value 2 is handled by service C. So the request is coming and when we are hashing and whatever the value we are getting according to that we have to route the uh, request from the load balancer. So like this we uh, implement the IP or URL hashing algorithm in a load balancer. So I hope I am able to make you clear about the IP or URL hashing algorithm in load balancer. So let's check ne next algorithm. So next algorithm is a list connection algorithm and in this uh, algorithm we, uh, we check uh, in each services like service A having 800 concurrent connection, service B is having a 100 concurrent connection, service C is having a 10 concurrent connection. 
and here i have specified the user 1 user 2 and the request are getting coming from user uh, user 1 is user request 1 request 2 user 2 so request coming from user 2 is request 3 request 4 to the load balancer and a load balancer will distribute the uh, request among these services so when we apply to list connection algorithm is means whoever is having the uh, list connection concurrent connection at given point of time that serve, that instant will serve the request so when the request will come to here the load balancer load balancer will check the each of the instance and which of these having the least, least number of connection so here if you see service is having the 10 number of connection it means all the requests will be served by service c only and this will be selected by a load balancer when the a least connection algorithm will apply in the load balancer so here if it will if we, all the requests will be served by service c only so request one request two request three and request four so all the requests will be served by this service seek because it is having least connection among these all the instance and this will be selected by load balancer so i hope this one is pretty easy like least connection whoever is having the least connection in the uh, in the instance service instance which will serve the request so that's it all about this list connection and the next one is list response time algorithm it is similar to list connection whoever is taking the list uh, time to respond means uh, execution is faster uh, that will serve the request so here if you see service a is taking the response time is having a 200 millisecond service b is taking 100 millisecond and service c is taking 10 uh, 10 millisecond here is a load balancer which will route the uh, traffic among these services and again we have a user 1 user 2 user 1 is sending a 2 request user 2 is also sending a 2 request so how this least response time algorithm uh, will work so here when the request will come then load balancer will check who uh, which services will take the least uh, time to respond so here the service c will take a 10 millisecond it means this is a faster and the response time is uh, very lesser compared to other services it means all the requests will be served by service c only so request one request two request three and request four so all requests will be served by service c so this is uh, all about the list response time algorithm when uh, load balancing algorithm when this algorithm is applied to the load balancer load balancer will check which service is having the uh, least response time uh, and it will route the traffic to that particular service this is all about the load balancer algorithm so let's quickly review uh, all the uh, algorithm which we have seen first one we have seen a round robin then second the sticky round robin third one is a weighted round robin fourth one is the ip url hashing fifth one is a lead connection and the sixth one is a list response time so thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel to get to know more about the hld lld and interview tips and tricks about the interview